Researchers have discovered evidence for a solar storm which was 500 times stronger than the strongest solar storm in modern history, and it rewrites our worst-case scenario events. You may know that our sun has entered an extraordinarily active period. It's why people as far south as Texas have been able to see the aurora. That is energy from the sun just grazing across our magnetosphere. It is beautiful, but has the potential to knock out satellites, to knock out power grids. The Carrington event was a solar storm that was recorded in around 1850. Something that size has the potential to damage electronics. It could knock out satellites. It could destroy our communications. And we even see with recent solar events that our communications are temporarily knocked out. And it does do damage. You can learn about this stuff on NOAA's website. You can see the risks of current solar storms and when it might interfere with navigation. That is incredibly important for things like airplanes. They need to know where they are in the sky. They need to be able to speak to ground control. It is the job of researchers who monitor these things to know what the worst case scenario could be so we can reinforce our power grid. We knew something like the Carrington event could happen again. What we didn't know is that something hundreds of times stronger hit us roughly 14,000 years ago. That is a tiny time frame in our history. It is such a small amount of time given how much our technology has grown and how reliant we are on it. If something like that were to hit, you better hope you get hit at night. Doesn't mean it won't knock out stuff on the other side of the planet that could destroy satellites. It could destroy our capabilities to talk to each other through the internet and it could destroy power grids. We do need to be able to plan for this stuff, and there are ways to make things safe from solar weather. It is significantly more expensive. What does strike me, though, is that most all of our technology happened in the last 200 years. We have grown so fast and so exponentially. When we're talking about things like the dark forest theory, why we don't talk to aliens, it could be that this is one of those kinds of events that keeps aliens from going to a space stage society or going much far beyond one, because solar weather is not good for electronics. Fortunately, much of the solar weather that we've experienced has not been devastating. It might knock out communications for a period of time. It might even interfere with power grids. But we haven't seen the kind of solar weather that could be devastating for a society. This might actually be more interesting in the near-ish future because we do know that the Earth's magnetic poles are flipping. In that time, we will have much less protection. We know that's happened many times before in Earth's history. That coinciding with a massive solar storm, the power of which we didn't even know was possible till recently, that could be very bad. Fairbait here, bringing you existential dread and exploring new kinds of such. Join me next time. Maybe I'll tell you guys about the whole candida situation, you know, the fungal disease that's spreading across the world that's been deeply concerning to me for about 10 years and is still very much a problem.